Okay, boys and girls, what I have here is a team associated TC3, uh, TC4, sorry, that I've just changed into mod one gearing. I seen this on YouTube. I figured I'd give a little bit of a clear example of how I did it. This is a 29 tooth mod one, five millimeter bore pinion gear, and it's running nice. So what I did was I took out the old shaft. You've got a couple screws that are underneath here to take off the shaft holder. This thing, whatever. And then I popped out, I took all the screws out of the top of this. And everything came out. So I took this all out. And what I did was I took the five, it's, you'll find that this has a five millimeter shaft. So I took out all the guts that were on here, except for this and this. And if you notice, it also has one of these stupid little locking rings there, and it'll also have one in here, as well as a pin that's in here. Take that all off, all of it. Sh on the shaft, you wanna make sure that this space, this fits, so that it fits in between these holes. So when you have this all out, you're gonna take the Dremel and you're gonna to wanna to shave this square hole just a little bit on either side. You don't wanna to go too much. You wanna make sure that this can run, sit inside that space. So I shaved a little bit off of down here, straight across, so that this fit in there. And then I shave some of the diff case in here on this side, straight on this side, and a little bit in here just so that this will fit in there, as you can see. And then what I did was I put this on here. I shaved a flat spot on the shaft just so that the uh, grub screw can tighten down to something. I used a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a thread locker on there so because it's going to be in the diff case you're not going to see it that much put this all back together with the cutter the i don't know what they're called the uh c clamps i think and then you got the bearing and then you have a pin and then you have this which is on the pin and then you have another c clamp on this end and as you notice, it's in there. You want to make sure that you shave out enough so that this runs free. As you can see, I put a locking rear diff on that because this is going to be running sixes with the Poseidon motor. I changed, I got new hard shafts for the back just so that they're a little bit tougher, hold up to the abuse that it's going to take. I'm going to change a few other things, but this is just how I did the, the back end here. And then you take the diff case, and if you noticed, I had to shave a little bit out of there just to make it nice and rounded, a little bit larger, and at the back side here. Shave a little bit out of there. So I'm going to put some uh, grease in here just so it runs smoothly. And then when you lock that down, I'm going to screw it all in. It's in there, it sits nice, and it still runs freely. Nothing's grinding. If you notice anything's grinding, just take that back out. Give it a little bit more shave, and it should work fine. Now, I'm waiting on front CVDs, because these both broke soon as I tested it. And I'm going to put a locking shaft in the front too. I know it's it cuts down on your, your steering radius and stuff like that. But this car is going to be for speed runs. As you can see, I put a new wheelie bar on it. We'll see how it goes. I've got a few other beasts that I'm working on. All speed runs. So this is one of my first attempts at a one-tenth scale putting a mod one gear in any questions just shoot me a message